protests are underway in Puerto Rico as it struggles to recover from Hurricane Fiona. More than a half a million people still don't have running water and thousands more are without power. Meantime, Bermuda is bracing for some impacts as the storm churns its way across the Atlantic. Forecasters are expecting high surf, storm surges and heavy rainfall. From there, there's a big concern for the Canadian Maritimes likely to take a direct hit on Saturday. Fiona's already prompted a surf advisory along our coast, and that surf is already kicking up, Tony, by tomorrow morning. It's going to be even stronger. I know a lot of people like to go down to, like, the seawall and Narragansett to see when there's big waves like that. Do we have to worry about taking extra caution down there? Well, you know, just be safe. You want to go down there, Shannon, and take some pictures, which is fine, but you really need to stay off these rocks, these jetties, especially during the times of high tide and these big, big waves coming over. Unfortunately, in years past, we've had people washed off those rocks in situations like this, so stay far enough away from the water so that you're safe, but close enough that you can take some pictures. All right, here we go. Doppler radar, uh, precipitation, downpours long gone. Had some thunderstorms, one, two, even three inches of rain in some areas. Providence leading the way over two inches. Norton Mass, North Kingstown, West Kingston, Fall River, inch and a half to two inches of rain. Some localized street flooding today. Nothing like some of the flooding situations we had uh, several weeks ago, but still heavy rain. Cool temperatures now behind a strong cold front that came through. It's in the mid 50s right now, actually heading into the 40s overnight, and it will set the stage for the coolest air of the season. Tomorrow is the first full day of autumn, and it will really feel like the season. In fact, we're calling tomorrow night chilly temperatures in the upper 30s to low 40s. So here's the breakdown. Much cooler air on tap now through at least daybreak Saturday, but we do get a nice moderation in temperature for this weekend. Gusty wind on Friday combined with very cool temperatures, northwest 15 to 25. At times, gusting to 30 miles per hour, and that high surf continues uh, right on through tomorrow. So I do expect scenes like this along area beaches, especially during the time of high tide. Even with the storm well out at sea, this wave energy can propagate hundreds of miles in all directions towards our coastline, and that's the situation right now. We take a look at the weather buoys. We have these floating weather stations offshore, and we've noticed since this morning the wave heights offshore have been increasing, and they'll continue to do so overnight and right on through tomorrow. Tomorrow. The storm well south of New England right now, Category 4 storm. Here's a high resolution satellite photo. Of course, clouds are not colorful. This is an infrared picture. And the deep reds show us where the most intense convection and winds are right ar uh, around the center of the eye of the storm. Bermuda right in here. So Bermuda does not get a direct hit but it does get grazed with the storm. It is still category four with winds at 130 miles per hour. This is the track that the storm has taken and notice it's more of a northeasterly movement. That's good news for the East Coast. It takes it well away from the US mainland. The concern becomes uh, Saturday for the Canadian Maritimes. This has the potential to be a, a historic storm. Uh, for Nova Scotia, Newfoundland, and the Canadian Maritimes over the weekend. Passes well east of New England, but close enough to throw back some of the waves. So when we take a look at the wave height forecast, you can see this little strip of yellow uh, um, pointing towards the New England coastline, these swells coming on shore, the big surf for tomorrow, tomorrow night, and potentially into Saturday morning as well. In the meantime, the cold front that gave us the downpours and thunderstorms today is well offshore, and it's one reason why it's going to steer Hurricane Fiona out to sea. So that cold front that gave us the storms and downpours actually helping to push Fiona away. Behind the front, it is cool. Much, much cooler later tonight through all the Friday and Friday night. Tomorrow morning, breezy and cool. Temperature starting off in the 40s. It's a mix of clouds and sunshine. The best we can do for a high temperature is only 60 degrees. And with a gusty breeze, it will feel cooler. Rough surf at area beaches. The beaches look sunny. The beaches look dry, but the water is dangerous to go into. High risk of rip currents. A northwest wind, 15 to 25, gust to 30 knots. There's a small craft advisory. Chilly start Saturday morning. Nice moderation in temperature this weekend. The weekend looks good. Sunday, the rain should hold off until Sunday night. Sunday day looks dry. Tough when you see these islands getting hit one uh, by one when a storm. I mean, this is the season it happens, and I know people take a chance. They say we're going to go on vacation, maybe one more hit. But. And you know, Puerto Rico, you know, still trying to recover from Maria several right. years ago, and then this storm is just, it's just sad. It's really tough. Yeah. All right, Tony, thank you. Well, the